I will go ahead and jump into uh, doing the doing the the red. I'll do the reds on the sides, right there. Do that area red, and then I'll do this area up here red, and that's all I'll do red on here. But in order to pull off that really nice bright red you have to have a really good metallic base. Now, you can do a gold base or you can do a silver base. On all these custodes that I've been doing, I do so with a silver base. So, let me get some paper towels out. Now, to do this, you don't need the airbrush at all. This is all done with a brush. Now, I'm using an old, worn-out, funky middle dry brush. I mean, it, you can see it's, it's beat to piss. It's, it's been used. Medium dry brush is what I'm using. Excuse me, I said middle. Uh, and then I use these three colors in succession. They're Vallejo metal color. I start out with the gun metal, which is part number 77.720. And then I come in again with a uh, the dark aluminum, which is a 77. 703 and then my final highlight is chrome which is a 77.707 I'll uh those are all the colors I use to do this those are some really really awesome metallics they're airbrush colors so they're already thinned and they're good to go but how I do this is put a little load the brush up a little bit get some of it off like you would but I'm gonna I'm gonna staple it. Like that right there. This is how I do it. Now I don't take it all the way to the edge. You'll notice that I leave the black in there, and I need that to help create depth. Because with this, now I, my style, I like to create depth in panels. So this is how I do it. I like things that have depth. I like them to look at a flat panel and see that it's it's like deep. So I need that black there to outline this. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. And just let it run around. You'll notice. All right, so come up here and work in a little bit more. Just dappling it all on there. Back here and dapple in this area. Remember, it's, it's very important in the way I do it not to go all the way to the edge. So, just like that. Focus, focus. You can somewhat see it. And you'll, you'll also notice that the overspray from the gray is totally fine. It's not going to affect this in any way, shape, or form. So we can just leave the overspray in there. It's totally fine. Continue that on all the panels. This will take a lot longer than actually um, showing you guys how I do the black. I mean, you got to admit how I paint black is ridiculously simple. 
I like to use the kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. All right, now I'll swap over here. Just about done with the base. Now, like I said, we're going to use these colors in succession. Um, they're all going to be on top of each other. You don't have to work them all the way over top of each other. You're going to leave. Notice how I left the lining around it inside the panel. The black line around it I didn't go all the way to the edge. We're going to do that with each color we put inside because we're going to put the other metallics inside of each other and then leaving an outline of the original color all the way around it. So you're pretty much you're just you're taking this color, you're taking this is the uh, you've got there is our gunmetal and then we're gonna jump up to dark aluminum. Dry this. So then we'll jump up to dark aluminum, which will be our next color. It's a little brighter. So this is pretend this is the inside of the panel. See how it's not you left black around it. Now with this, we're gonna come in and, and jump on top of it. Dapple that all, but we're going to leave. If you can see, we're going to leave going to leave that outline. My lighting might be making it a little hard on me. We're going to leave the outline of the dark aluminum all the way around it. We just come in here and partially filled in, and then we'll come in with. The chrome. And then we'll do the chrome in the center. So you've got those three colors in succession. You got chrome in the middle, dark aluminum, and then gunmetal. And then the actual final layer is black. And the black will be what helps give us depth with the panel. So let me pull back out here. Yeah, real high tech there. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I want to go grabbing. I'm going to change that. I don't want to risk putting silver all over my black. All right, so we'll jump back in here with the dark aluminum, and you will see what I'm talking about, how I do that. See, I'm dappling it, and you've got, you've got the black gunmetal, and now we're at the dark aluminum.
So that's the look we're going for right there. You notice you still see both colors. They blend a little bit. Some of the dappling. So we're going to do that on all of the panels we're going to be painting red. We're going to work it up now. See? Gradually building it up. We're in no hurry to build this up. The lighting's going to pick it up and make it super bright. Give that a second and let that dry over. And then we will come back in with chrome. Don't want to rush that. I want that to dry. And this stuff's thin, so it'll it'll dry pretty quick. Now, that's pretty much where it needs to be. Now, on to the final highlight. I'm going to drop down my air, my uh, my brush size. I'm going to drop down to a. Citadel medium dry brush, which the tip is just a little bit, it's a little smaller. And we're going to go right on into the chrome. You're still using the same, same method. Let me turn it around so you guys can get a better view. Just apple it on. Now what this is going to do, using the three layers of paint, you got your, your high, your medium, and your low, and then your base. So once you put the candy, well, before you put the candy on, you'll seal all this. Because the Tamiya paint is alcohol base. So it will lift the paint up off the model unless you seal it. 
but once we put the, the the candy on top of it, this area that I'm doing right now with the chrome is going to be our highest point. It's uh, it's what's going to give us the illusion of depth, even though we we did all this on a flat panel. Jump over here on this one. Catch these high spots here. You'll notice it. Get the camera. The lighting quit freaking out. Because it is bright. At least when you hit that chrome on it, it really... It really... Catches light. I'm not on focus. We'll go ahead and do this last side. Oops, almost forgot this one. That would have been embarrassing. So, now we have it. Let's blend that a little bit more. See the one, the two, the three, and then the, the base? That's what we want. Now, I'm going to have to let that dry for a second. I'll speed it up with the air, and then we're going to seal it. So, I, I, actually, I won't, even, I won't even bore you with that. Um, we're gonna, we got to seal the model, and then we'll come in. Because i got to let it dry for a little bit. Seal the model, then we'll come in, and then we'll add this to me a red clear. Now I do have another model over here I've been working on that I can show you just how the effect looks once you've got the candy on. Now you just brush the candy on. Super simple. There's no airbrushing, no taping. And just run it up to the panel run the uh, the red right up to the edge of the panel now this to me a red clear it's like I said it's alcohol base it's thick paint you know once I told one of my friends that I, I just brush it on he was like you do what like because everyone knows that to me uh, clears are thick they're super thick paint so you got to work fast you got to be consistent with your with when you're applying the color and it's almost like it's self leveling uh, when it dries it, 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 the brush strokes are not as prevalent as you would think. I'll go ahead and put another coat on this just so you can see. Uh, just need these, this panels just need one more coat. 
So that'll be a good... I'll go ahead and pull this off. Get that magnetized. Just see how... So you can see how exactly it is. I just brush it on. So I'll start towards the edge. I'll let the brush run up to the edge. And I'll just drag it back towards the center. This is... Technically on this one, it's coat number four. But that's only because I actually thin this paint down before I put it on uh, on the first couple couple stages. Inadvertently, I should say. It's just I grabbed a bottle that was thinned. Didn't realize it. Normally I stick stuff, little notes on the bottles to let myself know that, hey, this, is, this has got thinner in it, but I missed one. But all you do is brush it on you can need to run it up against all the edge of the panels so you got it like I said this is alcohol base you got to work fast or it'll dry up on your brush and then it'll like string it'll be like string real stringy you don't want that if you get if it gets like stringy, almost like there's hairs in it, immediately stop, clean your brush, and go back at it again. And you'll notice that the brush will get a little tacky whenever it's starting to dry out and it's done working the panel. Now once it starts to get a little tacky, hurry up and try to get off that panel as fast as you can. You don't want to stay on that panel too long. See? Nice deep red. Now the, the black that we left in there, the outline, see how it, under the candy it looks really... I'll do these, these bigger panels up front. They, they show it a lot more. So we'll run this panel real quick. got to be just keep it moving you can't stop and hang out and dilly dag around because this shit once it starts dry once it starts getting tacky you can't really take the brush across the panel until it's done well it's dried okay but notice how the the light from the chrome rolls and you can see the red and the oranges in the clear but the black around the edge it's still there helping create depth for the panel again that's it's kind of my style how I like to paint um, now you could you could you can achieve this effect with an airbrush you can uh, it's just it's a little a little more work involved because you got to do all the taping, all the damn taping, and clean up all that jazz. And I figured this would be something to show a lot of people don't you know how to use an airbrush? Well, that's okay if you don't know how to use an airbrush. You can actually almost achieve this effect with just spray paint. Uh, you just have to find like a charcoal gray spray paint and be very fast when spraying it to do a xenothal highlight type effect. And then you can brush all your, like you've seen me do the silver, and then just three, normally it only takes three coats of this red, but like I said, I, I grabbed a bottle that was thinned, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and toss on a fourth coat to get it where it needs to be. And you'll have a little overlay like that, a little over overlap. That's fine. You can clean all that up later. And that is the red. So you've seen you've seen how I do black. Black's super damn simple.
and you've seen how I get the red on the panels for the custodes. Now, if you wanted to do this same color scheme, the red that is, for say like Thousand Suns, basically the same, but the only thing I do different with my Thousand Suns is I will base it with three different colors of gold. I use gold as a base. Uh, instead of silver. It just gives it a little bit more of a, a nice tinge. Looks really good. But like I said, you can do that with an airbrush for your Thousand Suns. I haven't tried just brushing it on Thousand Suns. I don't know if I would try to do that over a lot of detail because this stuff is thick. You know, it, it can eat up your detail. So I like to try to keep this this technique that I've been using that I just showed you guys to large flat panels. But you can basically use the technique with an airbrush, three successive colors, and then three coats airbrushing the red over top of your Thousand Suns. Alright, so we are all good and all done with that red. And this will conclude how I do black with a little tidbit of how I do the candy reds for custodes. So I like to thank you guys for joining in and watching this. I'm going to continue to do more. I've still got how I do metallics. Uh, I, I, I'm going to show you that on a, a night, Imperial Night, next week. I'll try to have that finished and uploaded for you guys to check out and it, it's really simple all my techniques are really simple because like I said I, I, I love to do the keep a sim keep it simple stupid method there's no need in over complicating something that can be done with uh, just a little bit of thought and ease um, so again I'd like to thank you guys I really appreciate you guys being my patreon supporters it really does mean a lot to me that you guys are willing to Tune in and check out my videos and how I do things and uh, toss me some money every month. I really do appreciate that. Uh, I'm still a little ways away from where I want to be with my Patreons, but that's okay. We'll get there. You know, I'll, we'll get there. Um, but eventually, I, I, I want to upgrade my cameras. I want to add in possibly two more, two more cameras. I want to upgrade to GoPros just because they are really good. They shoot in a really good quality, and I want to get more than one angle on how I do things as opposed to the format I'm using right now. But I can get there with the help of you guys, and then you guys will be the one that benefits from it. Uh, so that will be all on this one, and I will catch you all on the next one. Uh, like I said, we will be doing Metallics next, and then the final one for this month will be faster ways of painting zone mortalis tiles or just large tiles in, in general. Uh, you can do that with a couple cans of spray paint to speed up the process tremendously. So thank you guys for this, for checking me out, and I will catch you all on the flip side.